Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do a full review on this product that I haven't seen a lot about. Um, I've talked about it recently on live streams and such because I just got some uh, new multi-tools, which I actually have right there to unbox. I ordered them, I should say. They're here. But I wanted to talk about this one first because I've had this one for a few years, and until... I just went looking for a new multi-tool. I didn't realize how good this actually is for the price. So this is the next tool, Flagship Pro. And I got this on drop.com. So I don't know if you guys remember drop.com. They still exist, but not really for knives and camping and stuff like that anymore. And um, they had this for like 25 bucks, And I was just like, okay, I'll give it a shot. I don't have a multi-tool. It looks kind of cool. This was like five years ago. So I just got it. Um, and I've had it in my bag ever since. It's it's in my backpack that I take whenever I go places, basically. Uh, if I go to the office, if I go on a trip, whatever, right? If I go on a trip, I got to take this out or put it in my luggage. But you get my point. A drive, I guess, if I'm not on a flight. Um I Oops, it stays in my bag. So the thing, this thing has a key feature that I love. And when I went to look for a, a nicer multi-tool this week, and I bought the Leatherman and whatnot, I could not find another multi-tool with this feature, and it kind of bugged me. So I ended up buying two <laughs> to make that happen. And um, yeah, so let's talk about it. So the key thing is this. It's a pair of scissors or shears and they fold out of the handle like that and they're spring loaded and they are really good. They actually cut stuff. I've used this to cut fabric, t-shirts. I've used it to cut cardboard um, over the years. I've used it to cut um, all types of material, right? Like uh, gift wrap paper. I've used it to cut... Um, What's that other stuff? A tape, like I bought shipping tape with my logo on it and I had to like cut it down, use this. Um, I, usually when you get a multi-tool, the scissors you get on them suck balls. And I don't know if I have an example of that anywhere. I'll, I'll maybe try to show you what I mean. But here is these shears. They actually cut, like they're not just a joke, like most of the time, you know what I mean? Like, these can be used as, like, EMT shears, I think. They fold into the handle so nicely. Then they have this little notch so you can grab it and pull it out. It sounds cool. Not everything is about sounds, but I'm a sound guy. Like, listen to this. Like, it just sounds good when you're using it. It's got, like, a snub nose up here. So... It's not going to, like, like I said, if you want to use it for, like, EMT shears, you're not going to somebody up trying to get in there and cut a seatbelt or whatever. Now, this does have a drawback, right, because it takes up this whole side of the frame. So, we'll talk about that in a second. Let me grab the thing I was just talking about that might have the scissors. I think my Swiss Army knife's in the car. So I'm pretty sure my Swiss Army knife is in the truck. And then I have another one that's like in my other case that's like put away. Anyway, this is from Leatherman. This is the Squirt PS4. Um, and I got this because uh, I watched too much Blade HQ back in the day. And I felt like I needed it, right? And it's been hanging off my backpack ever since. I actually had a blue one that I beat up for a while. Um, and I gave that away and I bought this red one because the one I had was the ES4, which I think was like a needle nose instead of this. It was something was different that I didn't like or somebody told me I shouldn't like, right? So anyway, the folding pliers, which is really cool to have, honestly, on something this small, but I'm not sure if this has a scissors. So it has a slip joint knife. It has, yep, there they are. Okay. This is what you usually get on 
a multi-tool, like a Swiss Army knife, a Leatherman, whatever it may be, you get this. So, and I'm not exaggerating. Usually they're this small too. So you take that and you compare it to this. And it's just an absolute night and day difference. And for me, the tool I have used the most on this here thing is the shears, right? Um, that's usually what we're trying to do is cut something when we, you know, pull out a multi-tool a lot of times. You either are using the pliers or you're using the skizzers is my experience. And I'm an office guy. I'm not, a, you know, but I've had to like pinch stuff together. Um, you know, like I was at a wedding actually. And luckily, I had this and this on me at the wedding. It was my brother's wedding. We were waiting in the in the uh, like bunkhouse where the grooms and we're all hanging out, drinking and whatever. And somebody's suspenders broke, and we used my squirt and my next tool here to like pinch the su suspender thing and get it and fix it. Right. Um, but yeah, so I just feel like that's the most used stuff. So it's nice to have it. When every other multi-tool I see just does not have this kind of level of shears. Now, what you give up because of that awesomeness is a lot of tools, I think. Because this, other than the shears, has obviously the folding pliers, which, again, these are spring-loaded, which is really nice. Clean that up. Got some grease in there. Um, they're spring-loaded, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure the, the one I bought isn't, the Leatherman. You always have to sacrifice stuff. That's something I want you guys to know. I'm not a multi-tool expert. I'm not an expert on anything, really. But in my experience, whenever I've looked for the, a multi-tool, I've never found the perfect one. It always is lacking one thing or another that you want, and you kind of just have to choose the best one for you. And that's why I ended up buying two this time. So anyway, you have these really nice pliers that work really well. Um, I haven't used them a ton, um, but I definitely have used them for stuff, and um, I've had it for like five years, so I mean, I can't tell you everything I've done with it, but I've definitely used them. I'm not like a multi-tool guru. I'm not using it constantly like some people do. I don't carry it like in my pocket or anything, but I have experience with this product. I've had it for five years, and it's been my only multi-tool basically for five years, other than that PS4 Squirt. Um, so the pliers good. You do have the wire cutters right here, and they are replaceable, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you have that. And then from there is what I was saying. You're going to give some stuff up, right? So you do have the one-hand uh, knife, which is on phosphor bronze washers. I don't know if you can see in there, but you have phosphor bronze. And you have a little deployment hole, and it's on a liner lock or frame lock, whatever you want to call it. Lockup is strong on these, so there's no rock. There's no play or anything. Holds up. It's got good lockup. And it does have a late detent. I know that's weird, but right here is where the detent breaks. So you're right here. And then, so I always find it awkward. I'm like, is there a half stop on this thing? It's almost like a half stop. So anyway, you have that that folds down. It's kind of a sheep's footy blade. Um, yeah, you can see the tip here, but I've never actually gotten in there and gotten it or anything. Touched it. Nice and smooth right here. You do have a ruler on the side, inches and centimeters, which is cool. Um, and then on this side, you have a saw. And it does look awkward, like you got to kind of do this. But it has a hook at the end here. So I don't know how well you can see that. But you kind of just grab this thing. And one thing I hate about multi-tools in general, Victorinox, anything is usually you got to use your nails to grab stuff. And my nails just suck. So, I don't know. I've always been a nail biter, picker, and then I, lately I've stopped that, but I started, you know, clipping them really short. So, anyway, you can get the saw out this way. Um, again, you got a liner lock. Lockup's pretty good. Um, it does have that half-stoppy type of detent thing right here. And this is actually a pretty good saw. I've used it a couple times. You have a kind of snubbed end again here. Um, but I have used this a couple times to saw things, and it actually does pretty well. Um, I believe all these tools, this one has a little bit of lock stick. But it's a multi-tool. It's not bad at all. Like, you don't really notice it. 
it's probably just something on the, you know, you can see the grease and stuff. I'm going to leave it on. So those are the main tools, right? The outside tools. Technically, you can't really one hand. I guess you could if you really tried to one hand it. I could get it out, you know. And you could open this one hand if you want. Um, you know, if you just kind of like squeeze it and push at the same time. And oh, I touched it. So hold on. Let's let's try it. Push it out. Right. Just keep going. Don't cut yourself or. Uh, don't pinch yourself. And then this is where I would use my leg, but you can see there, I got it open and then swinging it around is the part I gotta get. And there you go. So I got it out if I had to, but if I was like holding something against the wall right now, trying to get it, um, I would not be too thrilled with how long that took. So, you know, there's a downside to all that and closed there you go so then you have these tools and that's it that's the thing this is all you get so you get this uh phillips head down here it does have a safety cutter sort of thing wire stripper i don't know what you call that the phillips is not great i have tried to use that a few times and you know because it's half a phillips it's not the best but it does work these are non-locking but they are really stiff on that spring or whatever so it's good um, this one has the hook again. You got to grab right here and you'll get your can opener, bottle opener. And, um, I don't know if this is supposed to be some kind of like chisel edge thing. Cause you can see how it's got that angle there and then not here. And then you have a wire stripper right there. And then coming up the rear, bringing up the rear, you have your traditional sort of bottle opener flathead type deal. And that is is all the tools so like if i take them all out right now this is what people do right it's how you do a multi-tool review you do this and then grab the shears and that's what i'm saying is you lose a lot of stuff here okay it's not going to open because that but there you go you can see and then you have the pliers so that's everything you get um with this tool because of the shears i think is the reason for that right um if you didn't have these shears over here they could have added a bunch more tools which we'll probably see when i unbox the leatherman in the next video so if you guys are interested in multi-tools at all um i suggest you watch the next video of mine but this is like 35 bucks on Amazon. That's why I really like it. I didn't know it was cheap. I didn't know any of that. Back when I bought it, I thought 25 bucks was a lot. You know what I mean? Um, but this has turned out to be an absolutely fantastic tool for the price. It's got Torx construction. It's got phosphor bronze. got the removable uh, carbide bit or whatever for the wire cutters. It's held up. I mean, it's five years. It hasn't rusted an inch. And it's been in my bag, which has been all over the place. Um, mostly in my house, but it's been all over. Really good feel. Like, it's hard to explain that to somebody. But if you guys know me uh, when it comes to knife action and, and fit and finish and stuff like that, this feels extremely well made. This feels like uh, at least a $100 piece. But it's like 35 bucks. I'll link it down below if you want to pick one up. You can use my Amazon link. I think it comes in black as well. There's actually a mini version um, that has the shears. So what I found out in my research was that Next Tool has a patent or at least a pending patent on this system. And that's why you don't see it on other stuff, I guess. But I just want to see this more. I want cool leathermans that one hand out and have this on it uh because again the shears are probably my most used next to a knife which i always have in my pocket anyway so honestly for me you could take the knife off and give me the shears you know because i'm always gonna have a secondary knife i mean you know, we always have knives all over the place right like whether it's a utility knife or something else which reminds me I unboxed this earlier from the James brand, believe it or not. It's like 89 bucks, but it's really cool. And the system to swap uh, blades out is what's so cool about it. It pops right there. Boom. Take the blade out. And you put your new one in. Easy peasy. And locks out. 
And that's it. That's so cool to me. Kind of want another one of these in a different color just to have multiples. That's like how I feel about cool stuff, but I wish I had a clip. That's the only thing. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think down below about the next tool, uh, Flagship Pro. I might pick up the mini keychain one just to try it um, because honestly, I've almost never used this. Um, I don't think I ever have used this specific one. I, I used that blue one for that wedding before I gave that one away to a friend and then I bought this one to replace it and I've almost never used it. And I think maybe having those scissors on here would be better. You know, you would still have uh, pliers on that and then you would just have scissors um, and then probably a knife and a can opener, which is w way better than anything this thing has. And this thing's cool, I'm just saying. So next tool, Flagship Pro, appreciate you guys. Um, yeah. I'm reviewing multi-tools apparently, but you know, that's how I do. I get into things. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Oh, and it does work pretty easy left-handed. You can kind of flick it and then walk it out this way and then pop it, close it. You know, if you want to one hand this guy, you could do that like this and then again, close it. So you can do all this stuff, you know, just got to learn how to manipulate Oh, and this clip is really good. I've used it a couple times. It's mostly been in the sack, which is why it looks so good. It's just been in the sack in my bag. Um, and when I need it, I take it out, and then I put it away. And it works fantastically. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.